Hi there, my name is Simon Heuba and I'll be your guide on this first part of two introductory screencasts on the React JavaScript framework. React is a library created by Facebook for building user interfaces. It focuses on rendering components and does not concern itself with AJAX, routing, or code organization in any way. For this reason, some like to call it the V in MVC, though there is no requirement to use it as an MVC stack. Let's get React set up on our machine and build a quick Hello World component. First, we go to the React website and navigate to the download page. We can choose to, to download and install React in several ways. If you're using something like Browserify, you can install React via npm for Node.js. For this demo, I'm going to grab the CDN link to get going quickly. If you plan on using any of the add-ons, there's a separate link for a bundle of React with the official add-ons. But for our app, we're just going to grab the core URL. I'm going to dump the link into this small HTML file. Let's create our source file and add a component. Component is created by calling react.create class. A component must have a render function which must return a React element or null. Our greeted component is going to return a div and a text hello world. Notice that I'm writing XML inside of this JavaScript file. This syntax is called JSX and is entirely optional. It might seem to go against all common best practices to have markup this close to your logic, but I find that it encapsulates components completely and makes it easier to get a complete overview of what you're looking at. The browser doesn't understand JSX, so we need to transpile it. To do this, we'll install the JSX transformer. It is located inside the React Tools NPM package. This will install the JSX binary, which we can give an input directory and an output directory. I've added an npm run build to do this for me and map the key uh, to it in Vim as we need to transpile every time we change the file. Let's look at the output of the transpile. Notice this is just a series of function calls. If you dislike a JSX, you can write your components in this way instead. React will work with either way. Let's add the build part one JS file to our HTML and see the, the result. If we go to the browser now and refresh our intro page, we'll notice that nothing gets rendered. We create a component, but we never told React where to render it into. Let's do that next. Let's open to back up our, our part one JS file and tell React to render the greeter component into the body. We then transpile again, and if we refresh the page now, we'll see hello world. Sweet! This is our first component running in, in the browser. In this screencast, we got set up with React and built our first component. In the next screencast, we'll play around with props and, we'll, and state, and we'll talk about how to compose a series of components and how data flows between them.